piece itself was commissioned by Alice Tully uh, for to celebrate the 200 years of independence of America. Um, I mean, she chose Messiaen because Messiaen was then, as he was alive, perhaps one of the greatest living composers. I mean, you know, and it's quite interesting. In, I mean, you can think about America in all sorts of ways. He was immensely impressed by the Far West and the great national parks and the fact that they represented what was left in America of untouched nature. And this music uses the visual effect they had on Messiaen to talk about his vision of eternity. Uh, they sort of evoke, they gave him religious experiences, if you like. And this music is very, very powerful um, in a totally, a totally modern language describing how this untouched nature represents for him and for us, probably all of us, a sort of metaphysical vision of a, of a celestial city. He fitted in his visions of the canyons with relatively close transcriptions of bird songs played by a piano, a very difficult piano part. The idea is that it's one huge natural event. What I wanted was some visual equivalent of the untouched world and then that untouched world being damaged by us. Um, and Messiaen would, I think, be absolutely in favor of that. So we looked around and we found this young uh, Israeli video artist and composer called Daniel Landau uh, and asked him whether he was interested in doing this because it's not everyone who would want to tie himself down to this music because, in fact, in the last resort, what we're doing is serving the music, uh, this very, very grand and, and, and very special music. And he has come up with a very interesting idea. We start with a piece of untouched nature, which is, in fact, the Dead Sea. Uh, the Dead Sea is a natural phenomenon, but we are destroying it. In fact, in 30 years' time, it could be the Dead Sea doesn't exist anymore. Now, undoubtedly, the Great Canyons will still exist in 30 years' time, but what we will do to the atmosphere and what they become as a result of that, we don't know. So, in fact, what he's doing is producing a film that shows what our effect has been having on the environment. And this runs at counterpoint to the natural vision of Messiaen. Very daring, if you like, but I think very potent and very important. This will be a sort of mixture between a walk through MoMA and a concert. But I mean, I will show them something that is really a, a cutting edge mm -hmm. event. I mean, commission a film to go with the music, that's a really rather unique experience. We end up with a sort of reference to The Last Supper, uh, which is very important, obviously. I mean, uh, uh, the end of the Messiaen piece is a vision, the great chords of C major, which are a vision of Jerusalem in the, in the sky. The sky is the celestial city, which is always obsessed with that. And this reference is clearly will be there visually, clearly as well. And um, in between, we go from the Dead Sea and the Dead Sea giving birth to things to visions of what we have done to industry, uh, what in industry has done to us in terms of in terms of landscape, um, how we've polluted things. I mean, it will be a very strong and rather uh, perhaps sometimes quite difficult thing to see. The film will be shown on three screens. We have three screens hovered, hovering above the orchestra, which will be sh uh, so. There's a, there's a lot of visual elements going in as well, and possibly also parts of the hall uh, will be used. I mean, he'll use colours not just on the screens but around that. I mean, it'll be a total a total event, particularly as in the context of a, a work that was actually commissioned for America. It seems wonderful to be able to bring this event back to America, uh, enriched, we hope, with this extraordinary visual element as well.